is good afternoon everyone i hope you have uh, practiced 1.2 we were supposed to compare the different types of uh, the different numbers given to us and we had also discussed a few examples of rational numbers fractions correct and we had taken one example where uh, the denominators were different what i will do is just to recap what we had discussed last time was if uh, we have a sum like this 40 upon 29 and 141 upon 29 then what we can do is if you are comparing the two fractions we should check if the denominators are same if they both are same then we don't have to compare we can ignore it and we can only compare the numerator okay here obviously 141 is bigger than 1 uh, sorry 141 is greater than 40 so i'll make this symbol such that the mouth is facing 141 sum is not over because we need to write the denominator also correct so this is how we finish the sum then we took one example where uh, one of the students had helped us last time i'll explain the sum and then i'll be expecting you all to help me in the coming sums so in case anyone has a doubt i'll just clarify it here this is the practice at 1.27 sum okay here if you notice that the denominators are not same this is 12 and 16 so what do we do i told you all we i'll teach you the long method first there is a shorter version also for this i'll explain that also to you but let us understand this perfectly first because some schools might make this method compulsory so what we'll do is in what i would find the lcm lcm means any number that cancels both we should write so let's start with the smallest number 2 Two six at twelve and two eight is a sixteen. So two six at twelve, two eight is a sixteen. Next, I'll continue. Two three is a six and two four is a eight. To be good at this method, you all should know your tables very well. Okay. Okay. Continuing. Uh, two can cancel this further, so I'll keep using two. Two two is a four, but three I'll write it as it is. Then two. Ones are two, and three. I'll write it as it is. Okay. Here both should become one. This has become one, but this is still there. So I'll write this as three. Ones are three. Right. Just a second. so uh, once both have become one then all the numbers that we got here these are the numbers that will form the lcm so to form the lcm what we will do is we will multiply all these numbers okay so if i multiply 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 8 twos are 16 and 16 threes are 48 so this is what we have right Okay, so we have gotten forty-eight. Forty-eight is the LCM, and LCM means I can convert both of them to forty-eight. दोनों को forty-eight हम लोग बनाएंगे. So how do we do that? I am writing the first fraction, and I want to convert the denominator to forty-eight. So if we know the table of twelve, we will know twelve into four will become forty-eight. And as we have discussed earlier, if any change is made in the denominator. that same change has to be made in the numerator so i'll multiply numerator also by 4 correct and if i write the next step 15 4 is a 60 12 4 is a 48 so the denominator has become 48 matching our lcm okay let's do the same thing for this 7 upon 16 what should i multiply 16 by to make it 48 as we discussed here or if you know the table of 16 You all should know 16 threes are 48. So I'll multiply this by three, so it will become 48. So denominator by three, that means numerator also by three. Seven threes are 21. 16 threes are 
now if you notice the denominators are exactly same so i can ignore it i'll write 60 and 21 out of the two i know 60 is greater now I'll, to complete it i'll write it with a denominator but if you notice this is not the question the question is this so this cannot be my answer i have to tell out of these two which is bigger so agar yahan pe left bada hai idhar bhi left hi bada rahega if i write the same thing again 15 upon 12 and 7 upon 16 left side will be greater i hope everyone has understood this sum perfectly if any doubts are there you can message me okay just give me a second Yes, for so homework you all need to do the same sum. If there is any issue or there is any confusion, rather than repeating, what we can do is we can just watch the video. We'll be sharing the link. Uh, just a second. Uh, my PDF is stuck, so just give me a minute, everyone. Okay, what I'll suggest is by the time uh, I'm setting the textbook up, what you all can do is you all can. Uh, get ready with the scale and pencil today we might require that okay yes so i'm giving you all a minute i'll take a minute to set it up what you all can do is you all can get ready if you all do not have your scale and pencil right now with you we might be requiring to draw a number line today If you are not ready with it, I'm giving you all a minute. You can just make sure your scale and pencil is ready, and after that, I'll just set this up. Just give me a moment. Yes, I have the sums in front of me now. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Okay, let me pick the next sum now. So the next question is 
the eighth sum and that is uh, minus 25 upon 8 and minus 9 upon 4. Okay, for this, let me pick someone now just to check whether you all have understood what was discussed. Uh, okay, let me try Bhagya from uh, DN Nagar. Hello, Bhagya. I'm not able to unmute you. Okay, then Siddhi from DN Nagar. Hello, Siddhi. Mm. Nobody wants to answer from DN Nagar. Let's try Gargi. Hello, Gargi. Okay, Bhagya has been unmuted. Hello. Hello, Bhagya. Hello. Hmm. Okay, let's try Krishna from Vikaroli. Hello, Krishna. Hello. Uh, Krishna, you can hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So now you have to help me with this sum. Can you see the sum? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Tell me, are the denominators the same? No. So what do we do if the denominators are not same? Sir, we have to multiply 4 with 2 to uh, get the same denominator. Huh, you, I think you're very fast. So that's good. Sorry. But uh, no, no, no. I'm saying ki that's you given the correct answer. But for students to understand, let us take it slow. Okay. Okay. So what we will do is tell me if the denominator is generally not same. What should we do? What should we find first? Uh, we should LCM. find the same. Yes, LCM. Correct. You know how to find LCM? Yes. So I'll write that first. So 8. Hmm. 8 and 4 other two denominators. Na? Yes. So what number do we start with? 2. 2. So 2 how much sir? 2 4 sir. 4 is 8. And here 2? 2 sir. 2 sir. Very good. 2 2 is 4. Again can I go for 2? Yes. 2 how much sir? 4? 2. And 2 how much sir? 2? 1 sir. Okay. Continuing ahead. 2 how yes. much sir? 2? 2 1 sir. And here to one only. Yes. Okay. Multiply all of these. What are we getting? Eight. Two twos are four. Four twos are eight. So the LCM is eight. Yes. Correct? Yes. That means both the denominators should be made as, made as eight. Yes. Tell me, is this already eight? Yes. So any change has to be made here or not? No. And here denominator is four. So four ko kya multiply karenge to eight banega? Two. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll write the first denominator as it is minus 25 upon 8. Correct? Yes. And here, minus 9 upon 4, but 4 you're saying to make it 8, I should multiply it by 2. 2. Achha, whatever change I made in the denominator, same has to be done in the numerator. Yes. So, upar I'll multiply by 2. Very good. You understood this? Yes. Okay, so minus 25 upon 8 as it is. What is 9 twos are? 18. So minus 18. And 4 twos are? 8. And now check. Is the denominator same? Yes. If the denominators are same, to compare, can we ignore the denominators? Yes. Okay. Achha, uh, normal question let me ask first. If it was 25 and 18, which is the bigger number out of the two? 25. But if I put minus, then which becomes the bigger number? 18. Minus 18, correct? Yes. So, this is what I'll write. Minus 18 yes. is bigger. Achha, should I stop here or should I make some change? No, you have to uh, uh, write 8. 8 in the denominator. Make fraction. Yes. Okay, now and, uh, is it proper? Is the sum over? Yes. 
sum is over krishna no no sorry sir no ha ah, then because the uh, number minus 9 upon 4 will come correct. and we have to so very good i'll just write that so instead of minus 18 upon 8 i should have it as minus 9 upon 4 oh. and if out of the two the right side was bigger so here also out of the two which will be bigger right side perfect so this is the sum correct yes okay thank you krishna thank you sir okay so i had told you all that i'll even show you all an easy way to do this sum right and the easy way is this minus 25 upon 8 comma minus 9 upon 4 rather than doing lcm and everything what you can do is you can just cross multiply like these two you can multiply 4 udhar jayega so 4 into to minus 25 hoga i'll just write it here minus 25 into 4 Four went there. You will keep a comma only in between. Eight will come here, so minus nine into eight. If I multiply this twenty-five fours are hundred, so it will become minus hundred. Here, if I multiply nine eights are seventy-two, so it will be minus seventy-two. Now, if it was hundred and seventy-two, if the numbers I'll write it here separately, if it was hundred and seventy-two, then hundred would be bigger. But if it is minus minus hundred and minus seventy two, then minus seventy two is bigger. This is bigger, and here also, if the right side is bigger, then out of these two also, the right side will be bigger. Correct? Did you all understand this method now? This is I feel easier. Here you have to think. Here you can directly do it, and you'll get the correct answer. The reason I didn't show it this to you all earlier is because uh, some schools will not allow it. So we have to be perfect in the first method. This too we can learn any time. Okay. So let me show you another sum where I will again discuss both the methods. Okay. Fine. Let me write the next question then. The ninth sum is twelve upon fifteen and three upon five. Now the next person will help me with both the methods. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me try Amberlin. Hello, Amberlin. Hello sir. Hello. Hello sir. Ha, ah, uh, you can see the sum? Yes sir. Acha Amberlin is the correct way to pronounce it, no? Yes sir. Okay, here just check. Tell me are the denominators same? No sir, we'll have to make it same. Okay, just a second. The focus had gone for a second. Okay. Yes. So denominators are fifteen and five. So, so to make it same, what should we find first? LCM. LCM. So I'll write fifteen and five here. What number should I start from? Five. Okay. Five. How much are? Three sir. And here? Five one sir. Five one sir. Next, what should I use? Three one sir. Three one sir. And here also one. one. Correct. So yes. tell me, what is the LCM? So fifteen. Five threes are fifteen. Okay. That means both I should multiply by fifteen. No, only five. I... Only the denominator. Only the denominator five. Ha. Acha. So you are saying we should make both of them as fifteen, correct? Yes, sir. This is already fifteen. How to yes. make this fifteen? Multiplying it by three. Very good. So I'll write. Twelve and fifteen as it is. Here also I'll write three upon five. Okay, as you said, I should multiply the denominator by which number again? Three. Three. If the num if I'm multiplying denominator by three, the numerator I should multiply with with what? By three. By three. So this becomes twelve upon fifteen. And what is three into three? Nine. And denominator five three is a fifteen. So now, if the denominator is same, can I ignore the denominator? Yes, sir. 
So if I write twelve and nine, can you tell me which is bigger? So twelve. Okay, if twelve is bigger, should I leave it as it is? No, I have to write the denominators. So what is the denominator here? Fifteen. And here? Five. Nine upon five is nine upon fifteen. Nine upon fifteen. Sorry. Nine upon fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Is this the correct answer? Should I stop here? No, sir. Then. You have to write twelve upon fifteen. And. And uh, three upon five. Correct. Original question should be used. So when I write it twelve upon fifteen, and three upon five, tell me if here the left is bigger. Here also, which will be bigger? The left. Correct. Yes. Acha, tell me, out of the two methods, which do you find easy? This one or the second one? This one. This one. So, can you help me with the second one also? Okay. Acha, in the second one, as I discussed, this is twelve upon fifteen, and this is three upon five. So, in the, for the second method, what should we do? We should uh, cross multiply. That means twelve into five, and three into fifteen. Okay, what is twelve five za? Sixty. Sixty. And three fifteen za? No one. Yeah, take your time. Solve and tell me what to write. So forty five. Very. Good. So three into fifteen is forty-five. Okay. So now tell me, uh, Ambulin, out of the two, which is greater, sixty or forty-five? The so sixty. So even in my question, if here the left is bigger, then in the question, what is bigger? The left, sir. Are we getting the same answer? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you find the second method also easy? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ambulin. Okay, one last question is left of this type. So just raise your hand, everyone who wants to answer that. I can see only three or four people interested in answering. If you all try it, if you all make a mistake, that's completely okay. That is how you learn. But I want everyone to try and see if you are understanding it or not. Okay. Okay. For the next one, let me try. Uh, Gargi, I tried unmuting last time. She didn't get unmuted. Uh, Gargi, I'm trying to unmute you. Your hand is raised, but it's not getting unmuted. Hello. Hello. Is Gargi? Can you uh, say something? I think your mic is not working. Your voice is not reaching properly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's try it later then. Okay. Let me try Dipika from Saidham. Hello, Dipika. I'm trying. Hello. 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 Yes, Dipika. You can hear me. Yes, sir. Yes. So we'll go for the last sum. That is the tenth one. And that is minus seven upon eleven. And minus three upon four, okay? Yes, sir. अच्छा check करो are the denominators same? No, sir. If they are not same, what to do? Okay, sir. What to do? If the denominators are not same, what should I do? Yeah, good. Hello. Sir, hello. Ah, yes, you're not answering. You know the answer or not? No, sir. Why? What happened? No, no, nothing. Confusion. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, then answer this. Can you see if the denominators are same or not? No, sir. You can't see. Hello. Hello. Ha. Huh. Answer this. Are the denominators same? Huh? No, sir. Then, uh, So, denominator is not same. 
Uh, no, so what I'll what I'll do is I'll write it here and I'll find the LCM. Yes. You understand LCM? Yes, sir. So sh- can I start with two? दोनों में से कोई भी two से cancel हो रहा है क्या? Yes, sir. Four zero. And so here I'll write eleven only. Two four zero is not four. Two how much are four? Two zero. Two zero. Correct. अच्छा. Yes. Again, can I use two? Yes, sir. Two one zero. Two one zero. यहाँ पे तो इलेवन ही आ रहा है अगेन कैन आई गो फॉर टू नो सर सो विच नंबर तो हाउ मच सो वी आर गेटिंग वन एंड वन करेक्ट यस ओके सो इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई ऑल ऑफ दिस व्हाट इज द एलसीएम इज़ द एलसीएम करेक्ट सो वील मेक बोथ ऑफ देम इज फोर्टी फोर राइट ओके इफ आई राइट माइनस सेवन अपॉन इलेवन इलेवन को क्या मल्टीप्लाई करके फोर्टी फोर बनाएंगे एंड वट एवर आई मल्टीप्लाई इन डिनोमिनेटर वे शुड आई मल्टीप्लाई माइनस सेवन इंटू फोर ओके यू आर ऑल्सो लेट्स ट्राई द सेम थिंग फोर को क्या मल्टीप्लाई करके फोर्टी फोर बनाएंगे इलेवन तो न्यूमरेटर में किससे मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे करेक्ट अब चेक करो अदर डिनोमिनेटर सेम यस सर ओके दैट मींस आई विल इग्नोर आई विल इग्नोर द डिनोमिनेटर एंड आई विल राइट द न्यूमरेटर यस अच्छा बिफोर आई राइट नेगेटिव साइन टेल मी आउट ऑफ 28 एंड 33 व्हिच इज बिगर 28 28 एंड हां 33 33 33 अच्छा बट इफ आई राइट माइनस माइनस 28 माइनस 33 व्हिच इज बिगर 28 माइनस 28 यस सर So I'll write greater for minus twenty eight. Yes, sir. Should I leave it as it is, or some change has to be made? Sir, uh, we have to write forty four in, in the denominator. So upon forty four. Okay. So is the sum over? No, sir. Then what should I do? Uh, sir, we have to write minus seven upon eleven or minus hmm. three upon eleven. Correct. So, and tell me, if agar... यहां पे लेफ्ट इज बिगर देन यहां पे व्हिच इज बिगर -7/11 वेरी गुड यू अंडरस्टूड द फर्स्ट मेथड यस सर डू यू वांट टू हेल्प मी विद द सेकंड मेथड यस सर अच्छा सेकंड मेथड नाउ -7/11 एंड -3/4 ओके यस व्हाट टू डू इन द सेकंड मेथड सर वी हैव टू डू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन तो माइनस सेवन इंटू फोर एंड यूर माइनस थ्री इंटू इलेवन इलेवन इज सेवन फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी एंड वट इज माइनस थ्री इंटू इलेवन माइनस थर्टी थ्री सो टेल मी आउट ऑफ दीज टू विच इज बिगर माइनस सो Out of these two, if I write again, अगर यहाँ पे left बड़ा है, तो यहाँ पे कौन सा बड़ा रहेगा? Left. Which method do you like more? First method or second method? First. First you like more. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Welcome, sir. Right. Okay, thanks, Dr. Bika. Okay. 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 Now what I'll do is I'll be giving you all questions and i want you all to try and find the correct answer okay i want to see out of you all who tells me which is the correct answer which is bigger so the question i'm writing here 5 upon 4 which 5 upon 4 and 2 upon 3 tell me in these two which one is bigger Okay, I want to see who tells me the answer quickly. 
message me the answer i'm checking in the chat box whoever messages messages first will be the winner someone has messaged me 15 15 hey nahi samne there is no 15 here tell me which is bigger out of 5 upon 4 and 2 upon 3 okay one himani has answered and she has done it correctly yes i can see a lot of people don't say left side right side message me the these fractions may which is bigger 15 or 8 mein kaun sa bada hai i don't want to know that i want to know out of 5 upon 4 and 2 upon 3 which is bigger someone is messaging me 10 is bigger 10 hai hi nahi multiply karke bhi 10 nahi aa raha okay i can see a lot of people are answering correctly very good but as i can see himani from parla was the first one to answer correctly nice one himani okay himani also message me which method did you use Himani, tell me whether you used first method or second method. Okay, Himani has used the second method, but now I want to see the speed based on the first method. The next sum that I give you all, I do not want you all to use the first method. I want you all to use the second method and tell me which is bigger. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll turn on your video and I'll ask you all to show me your solution. So make sure you'll only give the answer once you'll have gotten the answer. Okay. Okay. Let me just check for a sum. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's try this one. Minus seven upon three and minus five upon two. Okay. This is your question, everyone. Quickly use the first method. I want everyone to try the first method and get the answer for this. So quickly, let me check who are getting the correct. But you all should do it from the first method. So quickly do the LCM and check which number should be the LCM. Make it. Okay, let me check who has answered. Himani, the answer that you have given is not correct. Hitesh has answered correctly. This is very good. Hitesh was the first one. Now I can see Prachi has answered correct. Devin, Saidam Sir, Devin has not answered correctly. Param Doshi has answered correct. Yes, Atharva is right. Okay, Himani has changed her answer now. Krishna, right, is the correct answer. Deepika has given the correct answer. Shreya has given the correct answer. Bansi has also given the correct answer. Very good. Others also. Before I reveal the answer, just try and find it out quickly. Prithul, what you've written is not correct. That is the wrong answer. Hmm. Is there any confusion? Let me solve and show it to you quickly. Here I'll multiply by two. The LCM is six. So I'll multiply by two. Here also I'll multiply by two. Here I'll multiply by three, and here also I'll multiply by three. So here I'll get minus fourteen upon six and minus fifteen upon six. If minus is not there, then this is bigger. माइनस है तो दिस इज बिगर तो माइनस सेवन अपॉन थ्री इज ग्रेटर देन माइनस फाइव अपॉन टू ओके दिस इज सी माइनस सेवन अपॉन थ्री इज अ करेक्ट आंसर
I hope everyone has understood this. Your homework is to redo these sums that we did today. Make sure you'll do it without copying. Try to do it by yourself. See if you're making mistakes. And if you'll if you'll check, then this week we are done with one more exercise. Next week we'll try and finish the remaining exercise. Let's try and finish the chapter. Okay. So make sure. See, we are learning only small parts in every lecture so that uh, you'll get enough time to practice it and get it perfect. Yes, Nishita, you have given the correct answer. Minus seven upon three is greater. Okay. Uh, so from the looks of it today, two people had answered correctly and uh, both are from Parla.